Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this bright, playful, slight artsy spring look for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Also, in this video I'm going to be giving you three ways that you can style a frontal. And just so you guys know, the hair is from Sky Virgin Hair and the frontal is also from them. It's not a customized frontal or anything like that, so if you want to customize it, you're going to have to, you know, pluck the edge area and all of that good stuff. But most of the time when I wear my closures and wigs and stuff like that, I like to push it behind my hairline. I really don't need to do anything to as you can tell, like, I have a, not a lot, but I have my edges out, therefore it's really nicely camouflage. You know, living here in Japan, you're kind of under critique all the time. They're really looking at you, they're really examining you, and the last thing that I need is for my hair to look like it's a wig or something is going on. So I always have to try and really camouflage it. So a lot of times I leave out my edges because I just cannot be bothered with all the questions that are going to come my way, okay? I just can't. I change up my hair a lot and when these people see me they ask a lot of questions You know they want to know this they want to know that and sometimes it can get a little bit bothersome because you just want to look fly and go about your day <laughs> But here's a little fun fact for you about Japan growing up in Grand Cayman I come it, it is a it's a melting pot as they love to say in all of the commercials It is truly a melting pot of all these different ethnicities all sorts of people are over there and I grew up around that so I was never ever ever in a place where it's just one race and now that I'm in a country where it's just one race and that race is nothing like me one of the things that I didn't think about is my hair I'm gonna be giving you fun facts but I'm gonna give you like I'm gonna give you it in segments you know because there's a lot to say and you I can't do everything in all of one video so whenever I think of little tidbits here and there I will share it so one of the things that I didn't really think about was my hair I was completely completely thinking that oh I'm gonna come to Japan and they're gonna have stuff over there for me because you know the world is evolving and people are everywhere different people are everywhere you know there's no such place as just one race you know <laughs> But boy was I wrong. I mean that might sound crazy But if you grow up only knowing what you know in the Caribbean then when you step outside of the Caribbean and then you know I have um, I would always have America to go to like, you know And America is also another melting pot with different ethnicities So like I said, I was never in a place where it was just one race anyways There's nothing here. I say all that to say if you are planning to come to Japan Think about your hair, especially if you are a black girl. Think about your hair, think about your makeup. I'm just going to talk about those two things. There is nothing over here for your skin tone. There is nothing over here for your hair. You will find that there are a lot of forums and there's forums like on Facebook. I know of one forum on Facebook. I can't remember the name right now. And I'm not a part of any of these forums, you know, because I kind of like to just tough it out on my own. <laughs> so I kind of keep to myself. But there's a lot of Africans over here. Hair. not a lot a lot because we're still the minority but some Africans will have things that will definitely cater to your needs like they will have foundations in a different variety of colors and they will have a lot of hair care and skincare products you know things that are black people friendly so that was something that I never thought about and Barclay yeah, I struggled with that for my first year here. If you have a friend or family back home, that's going to be a plus to you. You know, people who can send you stuff because it really is a place where there's nothing here for your skin tone. Absolutely nothing. Like MAC, I think, is the only store that carries foundation up to NC50. And that's, you know, what's that going to do? Like, really. I kind of get away, you know, because... I can mix NC50. NC50 is still too dark for me. It's like, it's more, It's not that it's dark, it's kind of like red. And I mix that with NC45, but I no longer wear MAC. But when I first got here, you know, that was all I had access to until, you know, I discovered different websites and stuff like that. So you kind of have to jump online and do different stuff, you know, like really search for things that you need because there is absolutely nothing here for your hair. And thank God for YouTube because it is truly a blessing when companies you you might look at it as business but it is business and I'm not gonna say that it's not business but at the same time it is truly truly a blessing when hair companies send hair or if I get the up I don't accept all the time because some of the hair is like you know <laughs> oh my God. 
of what was going on, <laughs> you know. So when good hair companies reach out and they want to send me hair to try out for YouTube, you know, even though I am paid for those videos, it really is a plus to not have to struggle with my weaves and stuff because when I first came here, I was all about my weaves, you know, my hair was relaxed, now I'm natural. And Japan kind of forced me to go natural, I will be completely honest, because there's nothing, you can't get relaxer here, you know, and to ship a lot of this stuff in is really, really expensive, so if you have a friend or somebody back home that can always send you stuff, that is a plus. I know that on the air bases, like, um, is it Air Force, like, in the military, they have, like, their own supply of stuff, like, America supplies their troops you know so those people have everything unfortunately it's not a type of like I would have to befriend someone in the military and right now I don't know anyone in the military but I would have to befriend someone in the military to kind of get me stuff so you can you have that alternative as well anyways I think I've been talking for too long anyways when you get here if you're planning on coming here think about that I will be giving you more fun facts but definitely keep that in mind you're probably gonna want to stock up on a lot of things when you come over here everything that that you can possibly think of that you need for yourself as a black girl you're gonna need that over here so have a suitcase full of just nothing but makeup and hair okay like a whole like for real when I travel there's one suitcase that is dedicated to makeup and hair products and skincare products and stuff like that and then there's like two or three more suitcases that is just dedicated to clothes because that's the next thing and I'll be talking about that on another video so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to, you know, stay tuned until I show you further down in the end of the video how to do three different styles. I will just show you three different styles. I'm not going to really go into too much because already I've been talking for so long and I don't want this video to be super long, but I'll just give you some ideas on three different styles that you can do with your closure, okay? So if you want to see this look, if you have this palette, whip it out because we're going to be using this palette and yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to be doing is priming my face slash moisturize with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I'm just taking my fingers and patting this in because it feels so good to do this. After that, I'm going in with my Kat Von D Locket tattoo foundation I think that's how it goes in the shade 71 deep and I'm taking my fingers to rub it into my pores before I pat it in with my beauty blender because this foundation is super super thick that if you just pat it on with the beauty blender it really doesn't kind of settle into your pores and give you that nice coverage it kind of leave gaps and stuff like that so I really like to push it in with my finger before going in with my beauty blender right here I'm taking the shade in 57 medium I think I'll have everything in the description box and I'm using this to highlight the reason I'm using this to highlight is because these foundations are full coverage and super super thick kind of like a concealer consistency so I find that it works really well for this step as well Now that I have that, I'm going to be going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Tan and I'm just going to go ahead and set my under eye area, basically all the areas that I highlighted on my face, under my eyes, down my nose, on my chin, my forehead, and all of that good stuff. And then I'm going to go in with my NARS Loose Powder in Mountain and I'm literally just patting this all over this face. And then I'm going to go back, I'm, I'm dousing myself with this powder basically. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back with a brush just to blend away any excess powder. So I did my brows off camera and now I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan and I'm just going to go ahead and clean up under my brow. Next I'm going in with my Black Opal Flawless Perfecting Honey Concealer and I'm just going to go ahead and even out my, my eyelid area. And now I'm taking the Morphe 35C palette and I'm going to be using two shades to build up my transition color. So yeah, just go ahead and watch me do that. After that, I'm going to be taking this other shade from the same palette and I'm just going to add this as my brow bone highlight and also soften up those edges even more. And now I'm taking this tealish, bluish color. It's a matte color and I, I needed a matte and the electric palette by Urban Decay doesn't have one so I'm going to opt to use this. And then I'm going to go in with a clean blender brush to blend all of that out. And now that I'm satisfied with that, going into the Urban Decay Electric Palette, I'm taking the color Fringe and I'm just patting this all over my lid. 
Okay, so I'm going in with Chaos and I'm taking this and adding this on top of the teal color because it wasn't really bright enough and I need something a little bit more electrifying, so that's why I'm doing that. So I'm just placing this color on top of it and then I'm gonna switch out with a really small blender brush to soften up those lines. Now I'm taking the color called Trash and I'm just adding this into my tear duct area. This is gonna act as my tear duct highlight and I thought that it really made this look super, super fun and just different, you know? And I think these colors go really well together. After that, I'm going in with Gonzo and I'm gonna add Gonzo to the rest of my lower lash line. Okay, so now that I have that, it's time to line my eyes and I'm using the Kate Gel Liner. I love this liner. It is a Japanese brand, but out of all the liners that I own, like this is the blackest black. Like it dries really, really pretty and dark. It doesn't give you that ashy look, if you know what I'm talking about. Now I'm going in with this really bright lime green eyeliner by Lime Crime. And I'm just adding some accent around my liner just to, you know, make the look really fun and playful. I thought it was different, so yeah, I just did it. Add your lashes and let's move on to the face. Right here I'm taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep and I'm just going to use this to bronze up my face, basically contour and bring back some shape to my face because I was looking a little too flat. So you got to bronze up the face people, give your face some definition. After that taking my Iman Perfect Response Oil Blotting Press Powder in Light Medium. <laughs> I'm gonna be contouring my nose with that color because it's a lot lighter and I just want my nose area to look a little bit more soft. So I always tend to go with a more muted brown color as opposed to something super red and dark. Taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, I'm gonna go ahead and add some glow. I mean, like seriously, what is makeup nowadays if you are not glowing, okay? <laughs> Now for my blush, I'm using the Sleek Blush by 3 Flame Palette, and I'm using that center shade right there as my blush. Really nice, vibrant orange, but I'm going in really light. These blushes are super pigmented, so you wanna have a light hand. Go ahead and apply your mascara, and after I apply my mascara, I'm gonna be taking a navy blue liner from Maybelline as well, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add that into my tear duct area. And when I'm done with that, I'm gonna be moving on to my lips, and I'm using the Velveteen lipsticks today by Lime Crime. One is called Utopia, and for a ombre effect, I will be using another one called Rave. And after that, I'm gonna be giving you three options on how you can style a frontal, okay? <laughs> So here are my take on three different ideas of what you can do with a frontal. The first style is a half up, half down type of style. And I love this style because it's also really cute and girly. The second style is just parting it on the side. You can also part it in the middle if you want, but I tend to really like a side part. After that, I'm gonna be showing you how I just push it back and wear a headband. And I absolutely love this one. I think this one is my favorite because it just looks so girly and cute. Anyways, a frontal is left up to your imagination. Anything that you can think of, you can pull off with a frontal just take your time and do it i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and until the next video i love you and bye bye turn it up in a hot box uh.